Hi, second graders. It's Mrs. King Crosby. Welcome back to Properties of Materials. This is our last chapter in this unit. Today is lesson 4.1. We will evaluate glues and revise recipes. Activity 1. Conducting strength tests and evaluating results. Chapter 4 question. What is the glue recipe that best meets our design goals? Over the next few lessons, we will have the opportunity to go through the design cycle a few more times in order to try to create a recipe that meets as many design goals as possible. Remember, this is what engineers do. After they make something, they conduct simple tests to gather evidence to help them to meet all the design goals. This is the table Jess used to evaluate his final two mixtures. On the side, he listed different substances. At the top, he wrote the properties he wanted. Today, we're going to be doing the same thing Jess did. We will use a table to help us decide whether our mixtures have certain properties based on the evidence from our tests. Turn to this page in your packet. It should say, Our Substance Table. To evaluate our glue mixtures, we will use a table like Jess. The substances are listed on the top and the properties are at the top. You will do strength tests on each of our glues, and then you'll record the results of your test by writing the number of washers each glue held. Remember to test each of your mixtures in the same way so that the tests are fair. In addition to testing our glues for stickiness and strength, we need to determine whether our glues had the third property we chose. Let's write the name of the third property we chose as a design goal, which is thick. How can we find out whether our glues have that property and how well they'll meet our third design goal? Well, you may need to use observations, not testing, to figure out if the glue met the third design goal. You could just write a few words to make notes on each glue mixture in the last column. For example, you might write shinier or still wet or dries clear. Now, turn to this page in your packet. It's titled, More Notes on our, for our Glue Recipe. On this page, you will only fill out for glue one. If you have time, you could try for glue two and compare your two mixtures. Then you will write about which one best meets the design goals and why. Remember, the purpose here is not to see which glue wins, but to see which mixture has most of the properties we wanted it to have. This tray has materials for testing and materials for a different activity. Right now, we will only be using the materials for testing, not the others. Do you notice the big blue pause button? After I go over the instructions, I want you to go ahead and push, push pause so that you can conduct your test. So here is testing our own glue mixtures. Testing strength. Hold each glue card over the tray and add washers one by one until the paper clip falls off the card. Record your results. Then, testing class property. Test or observe each glue to see if it has a property we chose. Then write yes or no. Then finally, evaluating glues. Decide which glue best met all three design goals and write about your findings on your substance table worksheet. Now it's your turn and a good time to pause the video and do your test. Ready, set, pause. Now on to activity two, discussing results and preparing to modify recipes. Was there anything from your test that you did not expect? How might you change your recipe to better meet the design goals? What evidence do you have that your new recipe will meet your design goals better? If a design does not meet all the design goals, then engineers go back to the planning phase. They figure out what to change so they can meet their design goals. That's what we're doing as student glue engineers. So we use the design goals to evaluate our glue recipe. If your glue did not meet all the design goals, then it's time to go back to the plan phase and change the recipe. Activity three writing recipes for third glues. So far, we have three goals for our glue. Must be sticky, must be strong, must be thick. So now we're gonna choose a fourth design goal, 
and it will be must be dry and clear. So we're going to work together to plan and make a glue that is designed to meet all four design goals. Remember, we're designing a glue for school use, so it needs to have properties that make it good for lots of different uses at school. We will use our glue to make picture frames out of sticks like this. Think about what new properties might make a glue good for holding a picture frame together. You'll be able to test the glue before you make the picture frame but you should think carefully now about what a glue for this use should be like. Let's look back at the possible glue properties we listed. Stickiness, strength, spreadable, and thick. As we read the properties, think about which one you might like your glue to have. You should start thinking about which ingredient or ingredients would help you get the new property you want. Now turn to this page in your packet. It's titled, Our Glue Recipe. We'll work together to create one glue recipe using what we've learned. As you're planning your new glue, glue recipe, think about the effect that adding certain ingredients or adding different amounts of ingredients will have on your glue. Now, we're gonna choose a new design goal for our glue. Then we're gonna write a glue recipe that you think will meet all four design goals. Well, based on what we've tested and tried, this is a glue recipe I came up with because it seemed to have most of the properties that met our goals. So let's look at the instructions. It says, complete the sentence to tell what your design challenge is. Then list your ingredients and circle how many spoonfuls you will use. Then predict how well your glue will do in the picture frame test. So my design challenge is to make a glue that is sticky, strong, thick, and dries clear. The ingredients that I came up with is gelatin and water that are heated, maybe two spoonfuls of that. Cornstarch and water also heated, two of that as well. And then water, and we'll mix in water just to get that right consistency. Activity four, making third glues and setting up tests. To make a picture frame, we will need to glue four sticks together like this. Today, we will make our new glues and then test them by gluing the first two sticks together. You'll hold up two sticks, like in the picture, and make an L shape. Now notice that there's that blue pause button again after I get done reading the instructions, go ahead and pause to do your tests. So now you'll be using the glue making materials on your tray. While I go mix up our glue number three recipe, now you can pause the video and mix yours up too. All right, so I have my two sticks to make the first part of the frame and I have our recipe number three mixture, glue mixture right here and I have a stir stick. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of this third glue mixture on top of one of my sticks here. It's a good amount. And then I will make an L shape and hold it down. Leave it like that for a while. I might leave it maybe until tonight or maybe even overnight and check back on it to see how well it sticks together. Engineers may go through the design cycle many times before they finish. What steps of the design cycle did we go through today? Well, let's see. We did test, learn, plan, and then make. I'm so impressed by how advanced you are becoming as glue engineers. Thanks for all your hard work today. I'll see you next time.